Hey everyone, Dorian here to lay us in something near ecosystem. This is Near Bites, and roll the intro. Today on the agenda, we have a new data encryption tool for private information of storage on chain, details of Near and Circle's announcement for USDC support, Near Google Cloud's partnership, and details on meta transactions within the Near ecosystem. With that, let's get started. First up is the Near JS encryption box. An engineer for the NIR Foundation wants to tackle the issue of storing information privately on chain. He recognizes the current solution to this issue is for WebD developers to use the centralized solutions to store this data on a centralized database. So now, with the NIR JS encryption box, you can encrypt your data and store it on chain to enable users to protect their privacy. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about how to use a NIR JS encryption box. Next up is the announcement of USDC support from NIR and Circle. Circle announced a partnership with NIR that will make USDC widely available in the NIR ecosystem. For developers, this means that they will be able to integrate stablecoin payment flows into their JavaScript and Rust-based applications. NIR has announced a partnership with Google Cloud to provide tech support for NIR grant recipients. And if you didn't know, Google Cloud provides the infrastructure for NIR's RPC node provider to Pagoda, which is NIR's Web3 startup platform. This will allow developers to deploy code quickly, securely, and seamlessly. Pagoda has helped developers easily and rapidly launch decentralized applications on NIR through a library of pre-audited templates and auto-generated contract user interfaces. The Director of Digital Assets in Google Cloud said we'll be supporting NIR and be giving Web3 developers the most secure, reliable, and sustainable cloud infrastructure on which they can build and scale. This support will help better chances of new founders succeeding in Web3 space. And if you're interested in applying for a new grant, you can head over to near.org slash grants to apply today. Finally, let's discuss meta transactions on NIR. Details on NIR's meta transactions were announced in a ProCon meeting back in August. There will be an additional action attributed to the NIR account model functionality called Delegate Actions. Actions, if you don't know, are simply a list of uh, things that a NIR account can do, like sending NIR to other accounts, deploying smart contracts, to making subaccounts, and more. This new Delegate Actions option will allow for a NIR account to perform an action that contains other actions or transactions. This is what encompasses the idea of meta transactions as a whole. One of the more favored use cases of meta transactions are stated as such. In Procol, medical transactions will allow for a third party account to initiate and pay transaction fees on behalf of the user account. This design provides the easiest way for developers to onboard and pay for user transactions with no added complexity to the user. This also means that a user account may not even need to exist on chain and that an implicit account can be used in place of a user account. If you are interested in reading more about meta transactions and their advantages and drawbacks, you can read more about it in the link to NEP366, in other words, meta transactions, found in the description below. Next up, we have the end. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. We're going to see more of from Nearbytes. With that, have a great and wonderful day.